China is a very, very large country in Asia. More than one billion people live there. But it's not just home to people. Lots of animals live there too. China has many diverse habitats that make it home to many species of animals. Here are 11 fascinating animals that live in China, plus a very special mythological Chinese beast. One, giant panda. If you venture into the remote misty mountains of southwestern China, you might see one of these rare animals. The giant panda is one of the most well-known animals in China. They are black and white bears, easily recognized by their large distinctive black patches across their eyes, ears, and body. Pandas love to eat bamboo. It's their favorite food. They can eat up to 12 hours a day and fill up on over 12 kilograms of bamboo. Pandas are omnivores and occasionally eat small animals and fish, but bamboo makes up over 99% of their diet. Wow, that's so much bamboo. Even though bamboo isn't very nutritious, giant pandas get pretty big. Male giant pandas can grow almost two meters long and weigh up to 160 kilograms. Female pandas are usually smaller. Can you tell the difference? Baby pandas are very small when they're born, around 15 centimeters. They look like a miniature pink polar bear. They're also born blind and do not open their eyes until six to eight weeks after birth. Soon, their distinctive spots appear. The panda cub will stay with their mother for about a year or two until she has another cub. Then they go live on their own. Unlike most bears, giant pandas do not hibernate. In the winter, they head down the mountain to warmer temperatures. This is a problem for a lot of pandas. They're running out of room to wander due to disappearing bamboo forests. In fact, giant pandas are endangered. It is estimated that there are only about a thousand giant pandas left in the wild. Let's look after our special panda friends. Two, red panda. Despite their names, the red panda and giant panda are unrelated. At first, scientists didn't know whether the red panda was a relative of the giant panda or part of the raccoon family. They couldn't decide, so they gave the red panda its own unique family, the Alluridae. Red pandas live in the same region of central China as giant pandas, but red pandas can also be found in the mountains of Nepal and northern Burma. Red pandas are much smaller than giant pandas. They are slightly larger than a house cat, with thick fur and a long, bushy ringed tail that helps them balance. They also wrap their impressive tail around themselves when cold. It's like a built-in cozy scarf. Red pandas are herbivores, for the most part. They eat bamboo like giant pandas, but they like a little more variety in their diet. Red pandas also eat fruit, acorns, roots, and the occasional egg. Where can you expect to see red pandas? They are quite the acrobats and can be found mostly up in trees. That means, sadly, that red pandas are also endangered due to deforestation. Come on, let's leave the red pandas some trees to jump on. Three, golden snub-nosed monkey. The golden snub-nosed monkeys live in the forest of central and southwest China. You can recognize them by their little nose with wide nostrils and their golden fur that darkens around their shoulders, back, and tail. The female monkeys are usually a little darker than the males. Male golden snub-nosed monkeys get up to about 40 kilograms, while females only weigh up to about 10 kilograms. The golden snub-nosed monkey is an old world monkey. There are two types of monkey, the New World monkey and the Old World monkey. Can you tell the difference? New World monkeys tend to be smaller with flat noses and a prehensile tail. Prehensile means they can use their tail for grasping. This comes in handy because they mainly live in trees. Have you seen New World monkeys grab onto tree branches with their tail? Old World monkeys, like the golden snub-nosed monkeys, tend to be larger with a skinnier nose, shorter tails, and opposable thumbs. We called these groups Old World and New World because they live in different parts of the world. Old World monkeys live in Africa, Europe, and Asia. New World monkeys live in North and South America. Golden snub-nosed monkeys are highly social creatures. They form groups of 20 to 30 in the winter and come together in larger groups of about 200 in the summer. They can make distinctive sounds without moving their faces, just like a ventriloquist. 
Golden snub-nosed monkeys eat mostly pine needles and young firs, but they also eat bamboo and a variety of leaves, buds, and fruits from other trees. Since they live in the forest, you won't be surprised to learn these monkeys are endangered due to the loss of habitat. Four, brown-eared pheasant. The brown-eared pheasant lives in the mountain forests of northeastern China. There are large birds reaching about 100 centimeters long. They have a black head with long white ear tufts. It kind of looks like an upside down mustache. They have long white tail feathers with black tips that they like to hold up high. Brown-eared pheasants eat mostly roots, bulbs, and other plant matter. You can see them walking around the forest floor searching for food. These pheasants are calm birds and don't often fly. Some people like to keep them as pets. You'll also find the brown-eared pheasant nests on the ground. Female pheasants lay five to eight eggs at a time. The eggs are pale green and take about a month to hatch. Due to hunting and deforestation, they are considered a vulnerable threatened species. Aw, poor nice birdies. Five, red-crowned crane. The red-crowned crane is named for a patch of red on the top of its head. This beautiful animal is a symbol of good luck and longevity in Chinese culture. These graceful birds can live up to 60 years. This species is among the largest of cranes. They stand about 150 centimeters tall and range from 100 to 150 centimeters in length. They weigh between four to 10 kilograms. In the spring and summer, these cranes live in Siberia, Mongolia, and northeastern China. In the fall, they migrate in flocks to Korea, Japan, and east central China to spend the winter. Cranes have appeared in these countries' artwork for centuries. Red-crowned cranes are omnivores. They eat rice, parsley, carrots, reed buds, acorns, buckwheat, and a variety of water plants, as well as fish, salamanders, snails, crabs, dragonflies, reptiles, and other birds. Wow, that's a lot of variety. These beautiful birds have been on the endangered list since 1970. Six, Chinese mountain cat. The Chinese mountain cat is a wild cat that lives in Western China. It was originally known as the Chinese desert cat, but the name was changed to Chinese mountain cat since this cute little fur ball never actually lived in the desert. The Chinese mountain cat has sand colored fur. There are black tips on its ears and its bushy ringed tail. Its body is up to 80 centimeters long with a tail measuring another 40 centimeters or so. Adults weigh up to nine kilograms. The Chinese mountain cat is nocturnal, meaning it is active at night. They like to prey on pikas, rodents, and birds. Can you tell the difference between your house cat and the Chinese mountain cat? They're both pretty cute, but this cat wants to live in the wild. They live in burrows and are mostly solitary. 7. Pygmy Slow Loris Did you know the Pygmy Slow Loris is a primate? That's right, we're in the same order of animals as this little cutie. They are nocturnal and arboreal, meaning they live mostly up in trees. Unlike other primates, the Pygmy Slow Loris does not leap, but crawls around from branch to branch. They either live alone or in small groups of two to four. Look for them in Chinese forests. You'll also find them in Vietnam, Laos, and Eastern Cambodia. These animals are omnivores. They eat fruit, tree sap, and floral nectar, as well as insects and other small animals. Adult pygmy lorises grow up to around 20 centimeters long with a short tail. They weigh around 450 grams or one pound. Ah, cute! But don't let their cute little size fool you. They are not defenseless. The pygmy slow loris produces a toxin near their elbows. When they feel threatened, they lick this toxin and rub it over their head for protection. This toxin is believed to give off a scent that warns other pygmies of danger. Hopefully, it also scares away predators because the toxin causes a severe allergic reaction. Leave this cute little primate alone. Eight, Chinese alligator. The Chinese alligator is the only alligator living in the wild outside of America. The Chinese alligator is much smaller than the American alligator. 
It usually grows to about one and a half meters long and weighs around 35 kilograms, while the American alligator is more like three to four meters long and can weigh up to 450 kilograms. You can also see the difference in their heads. The Chinese alligator has an upturned snout and their eyelids have a bony plate where the American alligator is missing this bony plate. Actually, the Chinese alligator's whole body is armored, even its belly. That armor might be one reason why the Chinese alligator lives so long. It can live up to 70 years old and can reproduce well into their 50s. When they have babies, they hatch from eggs. They usually have 20 to 30 little baby alligators at a time. They eat mostly snails, crustaceans, insects, and fish, but will sometimes eat small rodents. The Chinese alligator is critically endangered. They are believed to only be about 150 in the wild. There are more Chinese alligators living in the zoos around the world than in the wild. Many zoos are participating in breeding programs to try to improve their numbers. 9. Chinese Cobra This medium-sized snake is usually a little over a meter long, but can occasionally grow up to two meters long. Whoa! It is recognized by its hood that swoops out from its head down to its throat. It's mostly black with yellowish markings. It has a distinct pattern on its back. See? Chinese cobras live mostly in southern China and can be found in the woodlands, shrublands, grasslands, and mangrove forests. People have to keep an eye out for Chinese cobras when working in rice paddy fields. These snakes are active during both the day and night. They like to prey on rodents, frogs, toads, and even other snakes. The Chinese cobra is a venomous snake. That means they inject a toxic substance through their bite. They don't normally pick fights with people, but if cornered, this snake will rise up, spread its hood, and strike. That's a pretty clear message. Leave this snake alone. 10. Chinese Bird Spider the Chinese bird spider is part of the tarantula family and is around the size of your hand. Eek! If that wasn't scary enough, these spiders are highly aggressive and their toxic venom can be deadly. They can be found throughout Asia, but are abundant in southern China. They like to live in burrows and will often retreat into their burrow when they feel threatened. Okay, spider, you stay there. We'll move on. 11. Corsic Fox the Corsic fox is a medium-sized fox that lives in the deserts of Central Asia, from Mongolia to northeastern China. Its coat is yellowish in color, but in the winter it becomes thicker and grayish. The Corsic fox gets up to 65 centimeters long, not counting its tail, which adds another 35 centimeters or so. Adults can weigh a little over 3 kilograms. Compared to other foxes, the Corsic fox has small teeth and a wide skull. Their diet consists of insects and small rodents. This fox is also prey for other animals. They are hunted for food by wolves, eagles, buzzards, and eagle owls. Corset foxes tend to avoid contact with humans. Unfortunately, poachers target them for their fur. Their defense against large predators is to hide in burrows. This also helps them to survive harsh winters. Chinese Dragon the Chinese dragon is considered the national symbol of China. It symbolizes auspicious, potent, and promising powers, particularly control over water and the weather. The dragon also means power, strength, and good luck to people who are worthy of it. To be called a dragon in China is a great honor. It means you are an excellent person with great accomplishments. People who are not considered so great are called worms. Yikes. The Chinese dragon is a legendary creature in Chinese mythology and folklore. It looks like a snake with four legs, but can transform into other animals like turtles and fish. During Chinese New Year, there is a dragon dance. In this traditional dance, a team of experienced performers manipulate a long, flexible dragon using poles. The longer the dragon, the more good luck it is believed to bring. The dragon looks bold and fearsome, but is also benevolent. Its presence represents imperial authority. What a fun way to bring in the new year. These are 12 amazing animals that live in China. Which one is your favorite? What do you think of the Chinese dragon? 
Do you think you are a dragon or a worm? Let us know in the comments section below. We want to know what you think. Now it's time to watch another Socratica Kids video on animals. Have you seen the one about bugs? How about Australian animals? Go ahead and pick one.